Hey, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. This is about to be a thing. I think it's a thing. Is it a thing? Yep, it's a thing. Right. Now... can't remember uh, what these guys do. I can't remember if they have any magic. I'll delta shield for now. Just to make sure. Okay, they don't have a huge amount of health. That's good. I thought they had more than that. Pretty physically resistant. And vice has turned to stone. Excellent. And so is Fina. Fantastic. Might as well make sure we get rid of one of them at least. Okay. We are gonna have a problem here. Let's try this. Probably should have got on top of this. Vice turned to stone again? Yes. Fina has woken up from her slumber. Fantastic. Lunar cleansing. Exactly what we need. Finding it tough to care about, I could be used to uh, turn to stone right now. When we can do this. I just need to remember for the next time we fight some of these guys that I have to stay on top of all this. That there wasn't we go. so bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad at all, was it, Vice? Hmm. Let's have a look at what else is around. There is nothing. Okay. Oh, hello, guys. I remember you. Here goes. I'll be nicely. Here goes. Over there. 
I'm playing with guarding, that's annoying. that. And you stop that too. Mm, stringy goop. Take this guy on at once. Nice, nice counter. Is it over already? Very nice little duck. Okay, well, the only thing I can do is press this button. in this room. I think this is a room through here. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yes. I remember now. My options are I can go back to that room, through the puzzle, come out around there and bypass this. Or I can ply on with this. Let's be honest, we can fight a lot of these guys. Oh, hey, hey. That was a not the camera angle I actually wanted to go for. I'm trying to hey, stop the camera from being stupid. Everybody focus because regular attacks don't do a huge amount against these guys. It's not worth the not worth the effort. And a couple of cutlass furies really is what I need. Primarily using vice for this, so He's very weakened. 
Oh no, might as well be stoned. Uh, it's not worth me doing anything with you except everybody focus. Be able to use Pirate's Wrath next turn. Aww. Hopefully, this thing doesn't turn around and attack Vice. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, he's not stoned. Fantastic. There we go. That's how we do. That wasn't so bad. And on to the next one. I like that the the stage is updating as we go. Nice, there's two pairs of these guys off the walls. It'd be nice if there was a way to not show the focus animation. <clears throat> but I guess it doesn't take too long. Hey, missed. Fantastic. Could have sworn that hit him in the head, but you know. It's alright, he's just been turned to stone. So you can use a Curia Crystal on Vice. Anything you can do. Damage and possibly stone, that's not going to do much. You can just focus. Do that. Well, let's take it out. Yes. Let's try this. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, he's having no luck, is he? Vice will probably get turned to stone again on the next turn. Damn. Oh, he's facing Enrique this time. Yeah, I'm not wasting a Curia Crystal now at this stage. Fina, nurse us back to health. And what's everyone's health like? Oh, well, Vice is the only one who's really hurting. Let's carry on doing this. Now, another reason that I wanted to come down here is I know that these guys drop a particularly 
useful item for the boss in this place. And I kind of wanted to get hold of one. I'm wondering if Vice can take down one of these guys with the right colour. Cut the fury. No, not really. The damage then gets on par with Enrique. These guys drop a gem of fluidity, which protects against being stoned. Oh, Enrique is out of, out of commission for this fight. Uh, yeah, protect against being stoned, which is very, very handy for the boss in this uh, dungeon. Excellent, as long as Vice isn't turned to stone. Which he's not. Fantastic. Not Cutlass Fury. Where is Wrath? Switch his colour back. He does enough damage that we don't need to be on a particularly effective colour. I'm kind of hoping to get a gem of fluidity, and I don't think, I've not been paying a huge amount of attention, but I don't think one has been dropped. No. Which is a bit of a pain. Last chance. The last boss doesn't get made impossible if you don't have one. Just makes your life a little bit easier if you have one, you know. Okay, even with the colours not right. Because red is not effective against blue. Okay. Not that we were planning on doing much there anyway. That is fine. Oh, cut this fury. Come on, Gress. Get it together. Yeah. Hey, now everyone is at least level 30. some red magic. More red magic for Fina before we hit the boss. I don't really see us. Maybe, maybe some yellow magic for Enrique if we get enough fights. Well, we got no gems of fluidity. So we would have come out there with this little platform that sinks into the floor here. You can never go wrong with a little extra bit of experience can you? Ah, okay I think we're pretty much coming right up on the boss now. 
you know. Got a save point? Usually a pretty good indicator of what's to come. This all looks very mystical. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh. It's a giant floating tortoise. And yes, this is the boss. Now this guy has some very, very annoying traits. <sighs> Chief among which is his steel skin move. Another one of his annoying traits. Actually, you know what? You do that, you do that. You guard. You focus. And another one is that he knows Sacrulin. So he can heal all his damage. There you go, there's Steel Skin. He is now invulnerable. While he has that on. He also knows some magic, so it's worthwhile keeping people uh, protected with Delta Shield. Now that lasts for the turn that he's on. So he's now vulnerable again. But I'm going to keep doing this. I have good reason. Ice Storm does about a thousand damage, I think. To anyone who's not guarding. Yep. So, Fina will now have a healing turn ahead of her. You focus. You do that. You do that. You do that. I can't remember if this guy uses steel skin multiple times in a row. So I'm going to wait and see. I don't think he does. That's a dick move if he does. There's Sacrulin. Heals nothing because we've done no damage. You may have noticed something changed there. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Hey, there's Steel Skin. Right. All spirit points used to use this move. Like um, Sephiroth's massive uh, asteroid calling move, but this one never misses, so that's good. Now I just need to find a way to stop him from healing himself. Because Sacrulin heals. All damage done. So this run could go of one of two ways. We're either going to be here for a very 
very long time. Okay, Ice Storm. You know, I'm thinking about it, actually. His, uh... His magic is Weblin. Isn't going to do as much damage as Ice Storm. Probably not worth actually putting up much of a magic block. I wonder if it's worth using Pirate's Wrath on him now. And you might use Steel Skin. Okay. Everybody focus. Yeah, Steel Skin. Good call, Chris. But next turn we go all out. This is why I really wanted to learn the Judgment, because it's Enrique's most powerful special move. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough spirit points to use Prophecy again next turn. This looks like it could actually turn out to be a decent run, this guy. So we'll use Pirate's Wrath, two focuses, on a royal plate. Oh no, it's using Steel Skin. <laughs> it did it twice in a row. We'll do no damage to it this turn. The problem is, as well, because it's a special move and not a normal buff or anything like that, Fina can't blow it away with her um, her uh, lunar winds move. Is it worth using Pirate's Wrath now? Probably not. Everybody focus. So if I use Pirate's Wrath and he uses Sacrulin. It's a waste of Pirate's Wrath anyway. It really is a war of attrition, this one. Okay, he's just going to do a regular attack. Okay. Let's just pile on him this way. Hope he doesn't use uh, Sacrulin. He takes his turn last, so we get to use everything. I think. Well, I know he did. Oh, it's only 611. Okay, so Royal Blade's not worth holding out with. Okay, that's good. Harry Frost's good. Well, okay. Healing turn. Another Pirate's Wrath. Now we're at this stage, I think. We have to really keep it up. Please don't use Steel Skin. If he uses Steel Skin, he goes, he goes early in the turn. Realized something. I should have been throwing some buffs around. I stopped. Good. If I'd thrown some buffs around, if I'd used Incrim a couple of times, I may have been able to get a, to do a lot more damage. Not enough. Okay. Sacrum Crystal. What was that last for? Entire fight. In ship bottles it has a finite duration, I guess. Okay. Move. Give me 
everyone else focus. Please, for the love of God, don't use the crew in this turn. Pirate's Wrath off next turn. Yes. A counter. It's always nice. Please don't use Steel Skin. Please don't use Steel Skin. Please don't use Steel Skin. Yes. Yes! That, ladies and gentlemen, is the easiest run I've ever had at this boss. I have never, ever had a run where he only used Sekrulin once. I was in for a long fight, and that took about 10 minutes. And speaking of time, this is a great place to leave this episode. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next episode of Skies of Arcadia Legends. Goodbye.